Welcome to our collective worship today. I'm the Reverend Rachel Knoll and I'm the vicar at our church, St Mark's. I'm hoping that you've got your collective worship box and that you might be able to get out your cross and your candle too. On the table here I've got a cross, a symbol of our faith, remembering Jesus' love for us. And I've got a candle here that I'm going to light. Oops. I'm going to get that another go. I light the candle, I say, Jesus, light of the world, shine on us today. Today I'm going to share some pictures with you. What do you think of this picture? Do you like it? Why? Why not? Perhaps a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Teachers, you might want to pause the video and find out what your class think of this image and why. what you thought of it. For me it's very neat but I do think it's a little bit boring. They don't look very happy, it's all a bit the same. I'm going to show you another picture now and I will ask you the same questions. What do you think of this picture? Do you like it? Why? Why not? Again teachers you might want to pause the video to find out what your class think of this image. I wonder what you thought of it. I think it's really colourful, they look funny, they are all different. I think they look happier. I'm going to ask you now to put your hands up to show which image you prefer. So put your hands up if this image of uniformity is your favourite. Have a look round. And put your hands up now if it's this image of diversity that you prefer. Although we all wear a uniform at school, we're all different and that is what makes us special and it's what makes our school so amazing. I'm going to ask you now to close your eyes and think about one thing that now that makes you different and special. Perhaps you've got curly hair, perhaps you're good at tennis, perhaps you're a fast reader. Have a think, what makes you special? Sometimes we might look completely different, but actually we might have a lot in common with others. On this diversity picture, these two characters look entirely different, but it's possible that they might both love cheese, or maybe they both think that maths is the best lesson ever. I, I think that. Sometimes our differences on the surface hide our similarities underneath to find out a bit more about what you love. So in your classes I want you to put your hand up if this applies to you. Who here likes to play football? Who here loves to draw or paint? Who here has a brother or sister? Who here loves to eat fruit? Who here loves to listen to music? We don't all look the same, but that's a really good thing. Our differences make us unique and special. And sometimes our differences are just on the surface. One thing we all have in common is that we all have feelings. We all have mental health. Mental health is just like our physical health and we have to look after our bodies and our minds to be healthy. The 10th of October, which is at the weekend, is World Mental Health Day and across the world we encourage people to be particularly aware of their own mental health and perhaps to try out some different activities and ideas that help us to exercise good mental health, just like we exercise our bodies in PE. a quick muscle relaxation activity now which is one way that we can support our mental health. I want you to imagine that you have got a ball of slime in the palm of each hand and I want you to squeeze the slime as hard as you can as you breathe in and then as you breathe out I want you to open your hands and imagine that the slime has spread across your hands. We're going to do this a couple of times. Again, imagine that ball of slime in your hands. As you breathe in, squeeze it as hard as you can. And as you breathe out, 
Imagine that slime spreading across your hands and relax. Again, as you breathe in, squeeze that slime as hard as you can. And as you breathe out, imagine that slime spread out across your hands and relax. That's something you can do wherever you are, whenever you are. Something that can help you perhaps relax and be present now and notice how you're feeling. As we come to the end of our assembly, we're going to say a prayer together too, and I invite you to join in with the words on the screen. Dear God, thank you for making us all so different. Help us to respect and value each other and to know that you love us just as we are. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now at the end of assembly, we say this together, reminding us that we can each make choices in our day to live for peace, for joy and for love. Go in peace, we go in peace. Go in joy, we go in joy. Go in love, we go in love. Amen. And then as usual, we need to remember to blow out the candle and I look forward to seeing you again next week. <laughs>